Come see Stand Up on the Spot on the Road in Huntington Beach, California on January 27th and every second Tuesday of the month in Los Angeles at the World Famous Comedy Store. And come see me headline on the road in Tacoma, Washington, Oxnard, California, and more. Get tickets and new merch at jeremiahwatkins.com. You're watching Stand Up on the Spot. Hit that like button, that comment button, and if you're not subscribed yet, what are you doing? Get on board. Now enjoy the show, and thanks so much for the support. What's up, everybody? My name is Jeremiah Watkins. I'm your host of Stand Up on the Spot, and this is how the show works. We, the comedians, are coming up here with no prepared material. We're going to ask you guys, the audience, for suggestions. You're going to yell stuff out, and we're going to create Stand Up on the Spot off those suggestions. Who's ready to kick it off? What do you say, huh? All right. Can I get a suggestion? King Kong. King Kong. Any others? What's that? New Year's. New Year's. All right. Um, King Kong. Uh, <laughs> uh, King Kong. Uh, do you, you ever feel bad for King Kong? <laughs> right? Right? He's just trying to live life. Like we all are. Live life, conquer everything. Get a hot white woman. (laughs) Aren't we all King Kong in a way? (laughs) New Year's Eve, uh, that's that's always a weird one uh, for me as a sober person because by the time midnight strikes um like people are looking at me like i could be their uber driver (laughs) they're like let's test our friendship let's talk resolutions on the drive home (laughs) next suggestion drink it too much (laughs) drink it too much (laughs) that guy's for sure an alcoholic (laughs) Like a hundred percent. The accent doesn't help. It's like, it sounds like you just wrote a song on a pontoon boat. Heck yeah. You have a cool country name? Robert. Yeah. That's literally my stepdad's name. And he's country. Do you drink a lot? Yeah. I have a few DUIs, yeah. I don't want to say that. Drinking too much. Uh, one of the hardest I've ever laughed, I drank too much root beer one time. <laughs> I know, man. It's getting crazy up here, guys. Uh, m- there was this girl at this party who was super drunk. She was drinking too much. And uh, she uh, took her barefoot out of her sandal and she started rubbing it on my friend's balls and he didn't know what to do. And he's like, ah, ah. And I started laughing so hard, I threw up my root beer in the grass. <laughs> That's how I party, dude. <laughs> Next suggestion. We're heating up, dude. Do you feel it? Do you feel us heating up in here, dude? Fashion as a dad. Hmm? Fashion as a dad. The Hobbit. The Hobbit? Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> you speak in my love language, dog. Gotcha. With that Lord of the Rings ass shirt on that you got going right here. Mm-hmm. You look like one of the elves, baby. Heck yeah. And I look one, I've got orc nose. <laughs> Dude, if you watch The Hobbit or Lord of the Rings, you'd be like, that's spot on. But there's some people that are acting like they're not freaking nerds in here, dude. And I don't appreciate it. There's more nerds than you think in here. Talk about dad fashion. I don't know what is happening with this guy right here. He's got a Kangol hat on cowboy boots a chain i don't know what 
time period you're from. <laughs> Lots of different centuries of styles going on right here. Are you a dad? No. <laughs> no, I have terrible fashion. <laughs> <laughs> even the, even his mannerisms, I'm like, wh is he a time traveler? Did he grab things from every era and just put them on and he's like, hello, I'm just like one of you. Wow, Kangle and cowboy boots, okay. That's different. Next suggestion. Submarine. <laughs> I think we've all wanted to be in a submarine. <laughs> Just for the freaking. <laughs> One of these, dude. I wish we had those in our cars. <laughs> you always want to see you, people stick out their heads out of traffic like idiots. It's, what's the holdup up there? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> huh, the 10 freeways on fire right now. <laughs> I need to turn around immediately. <laughs> Let's grab one last suggestion. Hot Cheetos. I freaking love flaming Hot Cheetos. And I didn't even know that it was like an ethnic treat. I've been about that life for years. I didn't know that that was big in the Hispanic community and in the black community. I've just been living life being like, I thought this was just food. I love flaming Hot Cheetos. My son is very dramatic. Uh, I sometimes, he's two. Um, I'll sometimes feed him a flaming Hot Cheeto or like a Taki or something. And sometimes he's like, it's fine. And then other times he's like, why would you do this to me? <laughs> he looks at me like, I'm two, this is child abuse. <laughs> Guys, who's ready to kick off the show? What do you say, huh? Yeah. yeah. All right, we're gonna keep building this energy right here with this next comedian coming to the stage. Yes, keep climbing for your next comic. One of my brothers in comedy, you may have known from Dr. Phil Live, his amazing podcast about last night. He was in the Barbie movie. Please welcome the great Adam Ray to the stage. Yeah. Guys, Jeremiah Watkins, let him hear it, the great. Jeremiah Watkins, keep it going for him. Sir, clap, you piece of shit. You fucking dickhead. Sorry for screaming. Thanks for coming out. Happy holidays, how we feeling? Good, lively bunch, front row, bunch of characters, I love it. What's up, dude? Didn't I buy Coke from you in Grand Theft Auto? <laughs> oh my God, it's good to see you, live in the flesh. Do you get that a lot? Do you get video game drug dealer as your, all the time? Are you serious? I don't not believe you. That's cool, what's your name, man? Sage. Sage? Yep, drug dealer name. <laughs> Sage. Isn't Sage, I feel like the first time I smoked not weed, like fake, um, like I think it was cloves. Is cloves in the Sage family, right? Probably. All right. I don't think I like your fucking attitude right now, Sage, but I'm being perfectly honest. I was looking for a backup on that, and you bailed. <laughs> Probably. That's awesome. Sage is a cool name. You got cool shoes, too. What do you do? And then we'll get into some suggestions, Sage. Real estate. Real estate. Oh, I'll take things nobody thought you were going to say for a thousand, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Cool. Well, you do want a real estate agent to be someone that's like got like a fun look, right? I think this adds to it, like the goatee, the beanie. But you probably don't wear this get up to the uh, the house oh, showings. I'm not like a real estate agent in student development. Yeah, well, not with that attitude, you're not. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> believe in yourself, Sage. Are those Gucci shoes? Adidas. They look nice, dude. Those are nice as well. And what's your name, man? 
Sensei? Okay. Am I on a hidden camera show right now? <laughs> I mean, hey, welcome back to Try to Deal With This, Comedian. It's a working title. So, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Did I literally just step on stage and not even 90 seconds in met a sage and a sensei? <laughs> there is a God. I believe again. There you are, Peter. Sage and sensei. That was the only name that could top sage. <laughs> oh man, well, you know what happens if a sage and sensei are in the same front row at a comedy club, you guys gotta fight to the death. <laughs> <laughs> or suck each other off. Either way. Okay, one guy goes, yeah, that, that option. Let's see the second one, for sure. I mean, psych. Um, all right, let's get it going. I don't think, unless, I mean, I gotta be honest, part of me wants to go around the room <laughs> and see if we can find, like, a fucking dark wing duck or something. I, Willy Wonka's... Uh, all right, uh, suggestions. Let's, uh, hippies. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> now spin that Rumpelstiltskin into some comedy fun, ha. Huh? <laughs> I mean, that was awesome, dude. You're gonna make a great dad, by the way. Are you a dad? You are a dad? Two girls, Two girls? yeah. That's why I'm here. So when they're like, Dad, will you buy me a Barbie? You're like, <clears throat> there you go. Play with it. They love Barbie. Yeah, that's awesome, man. All right. Well, we'll come back to you. What's your name? Derek. 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 See, see how fucking easy it is, fellas. Just <laughs> pick something we all can get on board with. Um, all right, hippies. Well, I think of hippies, and I think of, uh, I think of pot. I think of, uh, I, th I guess I think of drugs. I think of the uh, the people I know that are uh, that are hippies, that have uh, babies that have named them uh, hippie. Well. Are your parents, I think this is why uh, Derek was like, hippies, and then he was like, look, like these motherfuckers, you know? <laughs> like, their parents, like, I feel like Sage and Sensei could be from a hippie parent, but also, and I guess hippie parents probably are the ones that led the charge on the names that are like, you know, off the beaten path, you know, like, um, I don't know. I guess when I think of kid names, I think of like something that could be both boy or girl, like uh, Shrek. Um, <laughs> I think it'd go either way. Queef is uh, a name I've pitched my wife, which she has shot down many times. And I'm like, fart, even, or even like Frank, um, I don't know. But hippies, I think, uh, Derek, you're, you're right. They do have, uh, they've cornered the market, I think, on thinking outside the box. Um, but yeah, but I think they get a bad rap for all the drug abuse. <laughs> what was probably the heyday for hippies, 70s? That's kind of when they were born, more or less. Woodstock, yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. What does your hat say? All things grow? Yeah. What's up, dude? Were you born at a Woodstock? <laughs> yeah. The hippie uh, generation, that speaks to you, yeah? yeah? It does, yeah. Do you uh, grow your own pot? Is that where the hat comes from? No. No, you don't. Do people often make this uh, misconception about you? No, I work in a dispensary. Oh, you do work in a dispensary, yeah. Okay, so let's just check the game tape 14 seconds ago when I asked if you were around marijuana. Yeah. Oh, I said, do you grow it? Okay. <laughs> You're an attentive pothead. I like that. <laughs> That's not what you fucking asked, man. <laughs> if you would listen to what you said. <laughs> oh, almost fell over. Um, well, that's awesome. All right. Uh, yeah, hippies. So you love that hippie. That's just, it speaks to you, yeah? Yeah. The, what do you, the clothing, the... Uh, the air of music. And air of music, yeah. Yeah, they were, it was a lot. Uh, was, yeah, that Jimi Hendrix, I think, popped off in the hippie era. And who else? No, it was just different times back then. Different times, yeah. Jimmy Santana, yeah. <laughs> Who's that? Did you just make up an artist from the 70s? Knowing good and well that we all wouldn't be able to fact check that. Yeah, man, Jimmy Santana, you know. Played the clarinet. <laughs> the only guy in the 70s to <laughs> rock a fucking French horn. Couldn't think of an instrument. Um, all right, let's get another suggestion. That was a good way to start off. Dirty movies. Dirty movies. You fucking pervert. <laughs> now, I think you're talking about Graphic films, yes? Who said this? My man right here, yeah. Dirty movies, yeah. So that's up for interpretation, yeah? Whoop, oh, does somebody want to answer a police call? What the <laughs> fuck was that? <laughs> Please tell me that's someone's like ringtone. 
<laughs> like a fucking cop response from the 80s. What was, who was that? Oh, that's all right, Kwame. I love you, baby. Guys, one more time for your staff here at the store, huh? I mean, they're second to none. That nobody does it better. And they have access to every fucking cop station in Los Angeles. <laughs> um, all right. Dirty movies. Well, I think a porn. And then right after that, I think a two girls, one cup. Um, <laughs> which I don't like. I don't like that two girls, one cup has, has been put into the category of... What's funny about, I guess, porn and two girls, one cup is that, like, you know, these are all... Act, I mean, actors, right? They're, I mean, fucking... That's the... The writing is bad, I guess, in most porn. Um, but also, if you're assessing the script in any porn, uh, you know, fucking take a look in the mirror, decide who you want to be. <laughs> Two Girls, One Cup, what's funny about that is that those are real people. Like, for sure, there was a guy who had to pitch that to them. You know, Stephanie, what's up? What you doing? I was just gonna look at the hot tubs at Costco. <laughs> oh yeah, well, I gotta, I just wrote something. <laughs> You're always writing, Chaz. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be awesome. It's um, it's a, it's a, it's a short film. It's, it'll take like eight, ten minutes to shoot. But oh yeah, just one take. Yeah, you're probably only gonna want to do one take. <laughs> Are you still friends with Tina? Yeah, she's actually with me. We're hot tub shopping together. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, just come over. I mean, you guys know where I live. <laughs> yeah, we do. Unfortunately. <laughs> Check out. Um, okay, cool. And is it just, are you just gonna, are you gonna shoot it on your phone or? No, um, I got a, I got a sound guy. Uh, did you ever meet Sensei? I, he's gonna come over and <laughs> do the sound. <laughs> and then they shot it, right? And then they, I don't know, cleaned up. And then fucking, I don't know, checked their email. It, they just went back to normal life. Like that's, you forget. Like, we put these, you know, these people up on pedestals like that. I met a, uh, met, I saw a um, dirty movie uh, star that I had, uh, you know, subscribed to. Um, not subscribed, watched a handful of videos of, and I saw her at 24-Hour Fitness on a treadmill next to me. Um, and I was starstruck. It was, it wasn't like meeting Tom Hanks, but it was, uh, I mean, it was if Tom Hanks was famous for, you know, taking a, <laughs> taking a bunch of hot, I'd come, but he, uh, <laughs> but I, what I remember about that day was, because I'm usually pretty good, like, I, if I see, like, I, th I thought I met Phil Collins at the Grove once, right? And I usually don't fan out, but, I, like, when it's people, sometimes I just, I, you don't catch yourself being like, I'm just standing, and I saw what I thought was Phil Collins, and I usually don't go up and fan out, but I was like, I fucking, I love, I, I truly love Phil Collins, and I went up, and I was like, hey, man, I never do this, but Phil, I am a giant fan. And the guy I verbatim goes, my name's Alan, and I was like, <laughs> Well, now we're both upset. You know what I'm saying? You could have sang two verses of the Tarzan soundtrack, and this could have been the best Tuesday at the Grove since Mario Lopez moved in. All right, my name is Adam Ray. Thank you very much. You guys are a great crowd. This was a fun way to start off. One more time for the man, the myth, the legend, Jeremiah Watkins. We'll be right back. And keep it going for Adam Ray, ladies and gentlemen. That was a very presidential political, know, like, we're going to be running mates, but yeah. we don't know how to show affection yeah. yet. Yeah, 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 hey, this guy's gay, this guy's gay, I don't hey, know. Hey, hey. hey, this guy over here, huh? Jumanji, huh? the guy, the guy, he built the thing, went to, Bi went to man, yeah. <laughs> That's my Biden. Did you, do a, did, you, uh, did you do a Biden? I mean, it's pretty similar to other people. Yeah, we're, we're trying. Yeah. Yeah, the squinty guys thing is good, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It's like he's like just kind of verbally uh, announcing his like you know discussion on yeah. whether he his next move in like Uno. Yeah, yeah, draw four. We'll yeah. see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, go fish. Yeah, yeah, go fish. Wrong game. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He probably doesn't curse though, right? He might. He might. Yeah. He might. Yeah. We know Trump does for we sure. We know Trump does. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh. Yahtzee, yacht, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know he's lucky. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, Parcheesi is for pussies, okay? How many dice are there? Okay. 
<laughs> Connect Four speaking is for the Mexicans. Speak Build the wall. Speaking of dice, I play with black people in the streets all the time. <laughs> I always roll double fours. Yeah. I pick up my dice, I pretend it's a pussy, and I grab the dice. Do you think he practiced the grabbing by the pussy uh, thing? Like to Billy Bush? I always wonder that, because it came out so naturally. Like, I think he said it a thousand times into a mirror before he said it in public. <laughs> grab him by the pussy, grab him by the pussy. Gra grab him grab by the pussy, grab, grab him by the pussy. By the by the yeah, yeah, grab, yeah. Grab them by the pussy, grab them. Grab like em. an actor. Yeah. Grab them. Grab them to grab the pussy, grab. Go grab get out of the pussy, then go back to the original. Do the best, okay. Grab. Grab them. Grab them. Pussies. Round up all the pussies. Round up the pussies. Call Baron. Let him smell the pussies. <laughs> Did not pass go. Collect $200. Did collect $200. It's a fun impression. Yeah. I guess we should grab a suggestion. Yeah. Actually, real quick. Sensei, can you do a Donald Trump? And just don't even think. Just try. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Keep it going for whatever that was. We'll be right back with more. Huh? <laughs> I mean, he just, that was a master splinter coming in his pants. Oh, yeah. Oh, look away, Raphael. Oh. <laughs> oh, the four baby turtles must not see this. <laughs> Someone call April. That was awesome. Thanks for just jumping right in, dude. Um, and speaking of jumping right in. Uh, we're going to take a couple suggestions together, see what we can do with them. Basketball. Dungeons and Dragons. Basketball, Dungeons and Dragons. We had one from my man, Derek. Let's uh, shift gears. But Derek, thanks for jumping back in, bud. I, you came here with a fucking locked and loaded, dude. <laughs> I do. I love basketball. Are you going to cry right now? <laughs> I know you love hoops, and I thought yeah. I would try to connect. But fuck me, man. I'm just a dad trying to... You know what? I only brought three suggestions tonight, and that was one of them. Okay? You're a gangster, dude. Um... You're actually dressed like you're ready for a pickup game of basketball. <laughs> you're the comfiest guy in here. Are you a fan of hoops? Yes. Yeah. Who's, who's your favorite player? Great question. Anybody. Who? <laughs> Are no. you uh, an alien trying to assimilate to yeah. civilian culture? Yeah. Name anyone He's and like, I will agree. My favorite professional player is Sensei Sage. Is Sensei um, Sage. <laughs> or Luka Doncic. Doncic, Doncic, how do you say it? <laughs> Hakim, not Nigel. You still haven't smoked pot, huh? No. Uh -uh. God, I want to get high with you so bad, bud. Hey, guess I what? Think be a Join the club. <laughs> okay, let me ask you this. What? Riddle me this. If you have the opportunity to smoke pot with one person, dead or alive, but let's start with alive and then we'll go to dead, who would it be? It would probably be like Michelangelo from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Nice. Yeah. Hell yeah. So I'd ha I, I guess I'd already have to be high to be smoking with him. Right. But then you would have to join them on some sort of crime-fighting adventure. So, yeah. Okay, so you're already yeah. assuming you'd be an active stoner. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I would. I think I'd be act. I don't think I would fade away into the couch. Yeah. I'd be. I think I, it would hit me more like cocaine. Have you done cocaine? <laughs> oh, wait a second. <laughs> Why? No. <laughs> And when we come back, we're going to find out if Jeremiah can handle a line of cocaine off of Sensei's shoe. We're, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Wait, what type of weed? What was your name again? Robert. Robert. What type of weed would you suggest for Jeremiah in his first time puffing away? Probably a sativa. A, a sativa, yeah. Is there a name of a sativa? That's my favorite part about the dispensary game. Go green crack. Oh, fuck. Awesome. <laughs> green crack. By the way, how about something that makes him not want to fear for his life? How about Oprah's taint? You know, like <laughs> Hitler's freeway, right? <laughs> How is Oprah's taint and the color purple two different strains of weed? <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> guys, give me over. Right, thank you guys very much. I love you. I love you. <laughs> How are we doing out here? How's the energy going, guys? Huh? Another comedian coming to the stage that I absolutely love. This guy, uh, if you watched Big Time Rush in your 20s, you may know this guy. It is Steven Kramer Glickman himself. Keep it going, guys! Gustavo Steven Kramer Glickman! Give it up for Jeremiah Watt! 
seconds, huh? If you're gonna smoke a pot with a famous person, shout it out. Who would it be? Who would it be? Snoop Dogg. Uh, when uh, when when I was shooting a uh, big time rush, I, I we had Snoop Dogg on the show, and it was our Christmas episode, and uh, I had hooked up a friend of his with like a job, and so he came out to me on the set, and he was like, "Yo, dog, I'm not, I'm not gonna make this a racist voice." So he was like, "Yo, dog, when we rap tonight, uh, I got you," and I was like, "What? What'd you get me?" And he was like, no, man, I got you. And I was like, like a jet ski? Like, what are we talking about? And he was like, no, we're going to smoke together. And I was like, oh, my God. And I did the thing that, uh, 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 the cool thing to do, which was I, I called my mom. <laughs> I was like, it's happening. It's happening. And she was like, I've never been prouder. <laughs> and uh, when we wrapped that night, him he came to my dressing room. Uh, it's a hundred percent true. And he rolled in and uh, he pulled out a pre-rolled joint that was about this long and about that about that thick. And uh, uh, he turned on Enya. You remember? En <laughs> Who can say where the road goes? I go. Is this Enya? He goes. I always get fucked up to Enya. <laughs> It's like, what the fuck? Okay. And then uh, he goes, uh, I go, is this uh, medical marijuana? He goes, this is military marijuana. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck does that even mean? And then, uh, so then um, he, uh, he lights up and I'm thinking, you know, like, I'm going to take two hits and then I'm out, you know, because I'm not, you know, a big, uh, uh, not a super big into that stuff. So I'm like, I'm going to just do the two hits and I'm done, you know. And so he lights it up and he goes, and then he hands it to me and I take it. I go, and he goes, yo, son, it's puff, puff, pass. And I go, I know, I just puff, puffed, and I'm going to pass it. He goes, you've been smoking that shit for 15 minutes. <laughs> I go, I have? He goes, yeah, and you have both. And I was like, I do? <laughs> he goes, when's the last time you smoked? And I was like, 11 years ago? <laughs> and he was like, oh, shit, you're going to die tonight. <laughs> And uh, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but when you smoke weed with Snoop Dogg, you get cool points. But when you cry uncontrollably... <laughs> All right, let's get our first <laughs> suggestion. You know too much about me already. First suggestion, throw it out. Texas. 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 Look, just because I'm wearing the shirt <laughs> doesn't mean I live in Austin. Give me something else. What else you got? Dogs with flagpoles. What? Did you say dogs with flagpoles? Trucks. Trucks with flag... What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> the fuck does that even mean? What else? Come on, give me another one. Action figures. Action figures. Man, fuck you. <laughs> you know too much about my life. I have a massive... <laughs> Ladies, cover your ears. Cover your ears. I don't want to ruin this before it's happened. I have a massive action figure collection. Like too many like two like a couple hundred toys a lot of toys a lot of toys okay single a lot of toys it's what happens and uh i had a girl actually this is 100 percent true she walked into my place she saw all of it and she just went no and then she just <laughs> she just laughed just fucking laughed and I was like, what was it? Masters of the Universe? I actually had one time, this is true. I had, um, uh, uh, I was with a girl. We were in Target. We were on a, uh, you know, like a weird date. It was like a third date. Something you end up at a Target. Fucking stupid. The worst fucking date of my life. I can't. Oh, God damn it. She made me buy blackout curtains because she wanted to spend the night. Okay? And then she took the blackout curtains when she left. What an asshole. <laughs> the worst. I have the worst dates. She, she, we were in the, in the thing. We went through the, we walked by the toy section. I was like, oh, cool, Legos. I was like, oh, neat. You know, I've always wanted to get this one. This is a really cool set. And she was like, do you like getting your dick sucked? And I was like, 
yeah. And she goes, are you sure? Because if you buy that, it's not happening. And I was like, I can build a woman. I have money. Build a Lego woman. <laughs> All right, suggestions. Gardening. Gardening? <sighs> Gardening. I bought, I bought a, a, what's it called? Oh, man. I'm, oh, you got me thinking about plants and shit. <laughs> um, all right. So, for re- this is a true. So, this, okay. My, so my girlfriend and I were together for eight and a half years. And then, uh, middle of the pandemic, uh, she, uh, left me, height of 2020, walked out and moved to Cambodia. Which, incidentally, is the furthest you can move away from me. I didn't know this, unless she was going to move to the center of the earth. There's no other fucking... The moon. She could have moved to the fucking moon. But when she left, she... <laughs> oh, f- relax! Hey, uh, she walked in. Uh, she walked in, and she... Uh, and and I, I, she walked into the, to our place, and then she goes... She goes, I think we both know. And I was like, that I want pizza? And then she was like, and then two men came in behind her and then they just started picking up all of her shit, fucking moving her out. And she was gone. And the the craziest thing was for like years, I'd wanted to end it. But I was like, we have all this shit for eight and a half years. How are you supposed to divide that shit up? Turns out, fucking easily. She just started taking shit, fucking getting it out. She was gone. And right before she left, she turned to me and we, uh, she had this beautiful plant. It was a bonsai tree. It was a beautiful tree. Uh, beautiful, it was crafted. And she turned to me and she goes, they won't let me take the bonsai on the plane. So I want you to keep it and I want you to water it every day. And I want you to trim it. And I want you to try to just make it, make its life beautiful because it deserves that. So you take care of that. You do the best gardening. You just make it beautiful. Okay, you make that plant, you make that plant beautiful. And I'm gonna come back in like two years to visit town or whatever. And I want to look upon the plant. And I want to know that it's loved. Okay. And then she laughed. And I turned to that plant and I was like, "Bitch, you're gonna die. I'm gonna take a shit in you, plant. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Weinstein you. I'm gonna jerk off into this plant." You like water? <laughs> no more water, bitch. <laughs> Your twigs now, bitch. I don't know why I'm yelling at a plant, but the point is, I have emotional problems. Who else has got a sajasha? Edible streamer. What? Uh, what? I heard edible streamers. <laughs> That's fucked up. Um, edibles. Edible trip. Edible trip. Oh, dude. The last, the last time I did edibles, I uh, I got so fucked up, and I was sitting on my couch, and I thought I was the couch. You ever have that happen where you're like, "Am my pillows? Am my pillows now?" <laughs> like everything just feels like you can't fucking move, and I like somehow was like. Siri, call friend, you know, <laughs> just any friend, call friend now. And I called a friend and then uh, I was like, how do I, what do I do? Like, I'm freaking the fuck out, man. And he was, I was like, I think I'm in the TV or not in the TV. And he goes, he goes, here's what you do. Okay. Do you have like a voice activated remote? I go, yeah. He goes, say, say to the remote to play something that makes you feel comfortable and would make you feel chill and would chill you out. And I was like, okay, fire, fire stick, play Annie the musical. <laughs> and then I sat there high out of my fucking mind while Annie uh, was like, daddy Warbucks, the sun will come out. And I felt, and I, it chilled me, it chilled me out a little bit. It chilled me out. And then I, I told my friend what I did and he was like, don't ever tell that story ever again. <laughs> How, how, how are we doing? Time? Should we? Oh, let's bring Jeremiah Watkins back up here. This fucking bad bitch. Yes. Keeping over Steven Go Kramer Walker. Glickman. Oh, buddy. So fun. Yeah, dude. Good times. Uh, we're going to take a couple suggestions together, see what we can do. Love it. Johnny Appleseed. Johnny Appleseed. I, I'm going to have to say, this is one of the weirdest crowds we've had. <laughs> 
<laughs> like these one word suggestions that are just like that's your only choice <laughs> you're taking Johnny Appleseed John, you're gonna- whether you like it or not we all voted before I said that out loud <laughs> Johnny Appleseed Johnny do you remember Appleseed. the story of Johnny Appleseed it's just a dude that fucks a lot right <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, spreading that seed I'm everywhere from seed, city to city. Getting you know that what I'm seed up in them bushes. <laughs> 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 Give us another suggestion. What else you got? Okay. Pokemon. Pokemon. Oh, Pokemon. And what else? I I actually live with a Pokemon. I don't know if you know that. I have a pug. Oh. Uh, she is 11 years old. And um, now she's missing a few of her front teeth. Her tongue just hangs out. Oh, wow. And it's so fucking cute. It's so fucking cute, bro. And she's so, I love her so much. And girls, when I find out that I have a pug, they're like, and she's 11. I've had her her whole life. Her name's Jelly Donut. Everybody fucking loves her. And then girls are like, oh, my God, I bet it's like so cute. And they're expecting her to be like, me, me, like this little Pokemon thing. Uh, but in real life, when they meet her, she makes this sound. <laughs> which is not cute. Yeah. No. If she was thrown out as a Pokemon, it's like, use breathing problems. <laughs> <laughs> She's not really doing anything. Yeah, no, that's all she does. And then she just uh, rips one. It's awesome. <laughs> um, what else? We got another one? True crimes. True crime. True, ki- true crime and squid games. Oh, yeah. Same thing. <laughs> yeah. A Korean true crime, anybody? <laughs> Uh, I had a I had a, a, a small quick incident that happened where I was I was I s- murdered a girl I and it murdered <laughs> my she's bad dead. It was, it's what I call an oopsie <laughs> what can you do I was sitting uh, and, and enjoying uh, my lunch w- one day and I got a text uh, and it was a picture of a uh, shirtless um, Hispanic man uh, with a lot of tattoos and I was like. What the fuck? Who's this? Right? And then I get another picture, and it's uh, the same guy, except now he has he's missing his head. He was, uh, uh, they had taken his head. And, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? And I'm like, You're like how is he texting this? Right like, now? How is he doing <laughs> <laughs> And I go, I go, I go, I go, I just wrote back, what's up? <laughs> because I was like, this is kind yeah, of some sort of so weird, weird message. And then they wrote back, if you want this to get worse. Uh, if, unless you want this to get worse, we're going to need your bank account. And I go, how would this get worse? <laughs> yeah. I don't, first of all, I don't know this guy. And what the fuck, you know? And then I just blocked the number, you know? And then yeah. I called the police and yeah. I told them and they were like, um, where are you? And I was like, a Jamba Juice? <laughs> and they were like, can you go home now? And I was like... Yeah. I guess. So I like went home and then they came over and the cops were like, this is a death threat. You've received a death threat. And I was like, Whoa. oh shit. And, uh, and then they told me I had to like redo all the locks in my home and change all my passwords. And I was like, oh my God, I'm going to fucking die. And then it turned out it was just like a weird scam that like every bunch of people in Los Angeles got. So <laughs> anyway, I'm sure he's fine. Do you, do you think that like the person who did the decapitating like like they pulled him to the side they're like Vladimir listen your negotiating tactics need some work <laughs> you do not cut off head before you get money <laughs> you went too far Vladimir I'm sorry I try next time I do different and also what is worse than beheading you already killed the man what, where were you going to go I just could not I didn't figure it out next time next time I do better were you going to like put like like sharpie on face like like I draw a dick <laughs> I draw a dick on face with permanent marker but hard the, to get out but the head is already decapitated ah, shit again the <laughs> shit that's a real problem that's a real problem guys give it up for Stephen Kramer Glickman I All right, how are we doing with the energy in here, guys? You good? Very special treat coming to the stage right now. Uh, He's done the show before. I'm so excited to have him back. He's got a great special out on YouTube called Short King. You may have seen him on America's Got Talent. You got to check out his social media content. He's a killer. Please welcome my brother, Drew Lynch, to the stage, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Come on.
Thank you guys. That was explosive. It's good to be here. Uh, I'm uh, I'm having a great week because I am on day seven right now of uh, antidepressants. Yeah, yeah. So if you don't laugh, uh, uh, we'll see. Uh, no. Okay. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's, let's, uh, this is about as far back as this wall goes. Uh, all right. <laughs> Could not feel more like a mouse in a box right now, but, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I don't know who to make eye contact with, but, uh, sure, just suggestion, please, uh, take one right now. Exploding speaker. Exploding speaker. Okay, uh, thank you, sir. <laughs> Yeah, if you could just put an adjective with a noun, that would be helpful as well. Just, he didn't trust me to come up with my own narrative. He was like, no, I want one that explodes for you. That would be nice. I don't really, I don't really trust. No, sir, I'm on his. You shut the fuck up right now, all right? I'm going to take it and run with this, this explode. You're, you are an exploding speaker. You shut up, sir. That speaker exploded right up there. Actually, he's probably a lovely guy. Uh, not a lot of people can pull off plaid with a hat. Um... That was you, right? That was you who said it? Oh, it wasn't even you. Oh, my bad. I just fucking blamed you, dude. God. Dude, come on. White, white profiling. Um, uh, anyway, so yeah, man. You know when a speaker explodes. <laughs> just try to go into it. Don't <laughs> just go in it right on the nose. You know when a speaker explodes. I mean, you know. You're, you're, in your mor- you're making your morning cough. And fucking kaboom. Like you're all around speakers like I am. No, you get it. You know when you're at a stand-up show. And people are throwing out fucking dumb suggestions at you. <laughs> you fucking get it. I hate yours. What was yours? Go up there. What was yours, man? You said one night in Vegas. You said one night in Vegas? Yeah, yeah fucking right for you, brother. <laughs> one night in Vegas, bro. You look like you got a residency there. You look like they walk in and they fucking hand you a briefcase and you're like kiss you on the cheek and they're like what's up daddy welcome home you look like you invented vegas i'm not even gonna lie you look like you sat in your garage and we're like all right what if what if people give us money and we put them up for a night <laughs> and they'll feel bad later but we're like don't worry there's a buffet uh, one night in Vegas. I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't say that. Uh, I wouldn't say one is enough. But I also think two is too much. Uh, so <laughs> that's what I would say. Find your find your way. Just get in on an evening and leave in an afternoon, and you'll be all right. <laughs> I grew up there, so I too. Mu- I saw too much sit. I, I I saw. I saw. I grew up there, so I ta- I saw. Uh, uh, I'm fucked up right now. Still, obviously, it's crazy, dude. I. Stepped on a meth needle when I was six, and it just came out. Sorry, I'm sorry about that. Uh, my, my mirage is a flashback. I was uh, when I was young. I was uh, I was like uh, when I was. Uh, it doesn't matter. But when I was, you, you don't care. I don't know if you were leaving the show, and you're like, I, I wish you would have said an age. But it was before now. All right, I, it's it just assume that every time I'm talking about a time, it was before right fucking now. And I would, I would walk up and down the strip just because, you know, like me and my friends, they, like, they put bowling alleys in these, uh, in these uh, Vegas uh, casinos. And that's, I mean, that's, that's, I mean, as a kid, you're just like, I just, I just want to bowl. And, uh, and they're like, well, you got to uh, uh, play Keno. And you're like, all right, okay, uh, okay, uh, all right. Uh, I was saving my talents for the lanes, but okay. <laughs> I was hoping to guess where a pin was, but yeah, let me pick numbers. Um, and so what happens is they got these sketchy guys who flick cards. They flick cards just like this. And on these cards are um, like, they're, they're uh, like nudies. They're like naked, they're naked. Uh, could I, I could not sound more like a boomer. They're like nudies. <laughs> Why'd I get a tremor halfway through that act out? You know, I'm in condition, nudies. They got your blondes and your redheads and your blacks. You're like, whoa. <laughs> it gets racial real fast when the boomers. So, uh, 
they would do that, and then uh, and uh, but the um, the girl's almost completely naked except on the on the nipples. She's got these. Uh, they're like little like stars. They're like these little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that you nodded there. That's a uh, fucking kind of cool. That you're weird, but you're the only one. So whatever. <laughs> it's just you and me for the rest of this bit, buddy. Um, <laughs> I plan to spend an entire day on Vegas in Vegas on this fucking. Hang on, let me go back. I plan to say. <laughs> Let me go back all the way to the top. I'm going to kill my... No. Let me go back. <laughs> I plan to spend an entire day on Vegas. In Vegas. Uh, it's not going to work, whatever I'm trying to say. Um, so they have nipples on the titties. Uh, on the breast is his. And they're just scratch-offs. So you just scratch off. <laughs> it is so anticlimactic. I don't know what you think you're going to see. It is mostly naked. You st you, And there's a little sparkle, just a little a fucking glimmer of her her dad's expectations was literally on her fucking there. And you grab a penny and you go, oh, and then it's a nipple. And you're like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't have a boner before the scratch off, you're gay. That's what it is. You're gay. That's actually how they figure out you're gay. They, there's just, <laughs> it's just dudes in the streets doing this. And if you scratch it off, then you're fucking gay. <laughs> kind of wish the speaker would have exploded for that bit, don't you? Kind of went on for a bit too much there. Got a little, <laughs> got a little ageist, a little racist. I like to include everybody by excluding all of people. Um, Reddit advice. Uh, moonshine. What'd you say, Daddy? Reddit advice. Reddit advice. Huh. 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 I don't know. I don't, I don't spend a lot of time on Reddit um, because I have a day job. But um, I am an adult figure in society. But... I don't know. I, I, I can't. I, it, it, Reddit's hilarious because in the comments, you'll get people who truly want to help. You'll get people, like, if you go there and you're like, listen, like, for me, like I'm, I'm, uh, like, I'm on antidepressants right now. And if I'm like, if I go on antidepressants, I'm like, listen, I'm not feeling anything yet. What am I supposed to do or whatever? You'll get some people who are like, you'll get some people who are like, yeah, just wait it out. It's supposed to stabilize in your system. Give it some time. Um, if not, go ahead and consult your primary. And then uh, you guys should get the right stabilizer out there in the next month or so. And then under that, you'll have someone who's like, why don't you yourself but <laughs> <laughs> and that's got more upvotes and you're like all right fuck uh should have just googled this that sucks that sucks man i'll go to imdb and take a risk you know what i mean <laughs> and uh i like moonshine uh moonshine's a healthy balance of uh what what i fucking remember <laughs> Moonshine's a healthy balance of alcohol and medicine. Um, and if you ever tasted it, they brew it. Um, they brew it. They, 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 it's a, it was something that was invented um, in the South because uh, they thought they were going to win the war. And uh, they celebrated early. And uh, I, I, I'm making most of this up. Um, <laughs> to think that we went through this whole process... To get to moonshine, you think it would be better to be gen like to be honest. They they like put oats and then like there's a guy who takes it down a barrel and he fl he he flugs a thing over his shoulder and wanders down into a cellar and he has to hold it for three nights and then cry and say a fucking racist poem and then and then his brother fucking jerks him off in it and it's like whatever it's the south we don't have any options and then they come back up and fucking. They heat it under a meth spoon and fucking spit tobacco in the top. It's this whole thing. And then it comes back and there's like, well, but this one's like cinnamon. You're like, fuck you. I saw this on Reddit, so I don't know what I'm talking about. You know, I just, all right, let's get Jeremiah back up here or whatever. <laughs> Keep it going for Drew Lynch. Yeah. I love, I love you, buddy. I love, love you so you, much. Man. God damn. Yeah. John Ramaya Watkins, everybody. Clap for him one this more time. Guy. He's such a beautiful son of a bitch. I fucking this love him. It's fuck, dude. Oh, He's built yeah. under here. You wouldn't think it, dude. He's no, built. No, definitely not. He's built. Let's do it. Let's do it together. Just suggestion, skin dude. and bones underneath let's, here. Let's res what? <laughs> yeah, just skin and bones. <laughs> oh, I had a fat Sorry. friend that just used to call me skin and bones. That was her nickname for me. Did you? Yeah. Did you call her fucking fat and nasty? <laughs> 
I didn't return the favor yeah. by nicknaming her. As I no. said it, I was like, don't say that. <laughs> I agree. As I said it, I was like, that's too mean. And then I agreed with her. I was like, you're skin and bones, Jeremiah. Yeah. You know what you did. Hey, what's up, fat and nasty? <laughs> Why would you say that? I called you skin and bones once six months ago. <laughs> Yep, Fat and nasty me. sounds like a like a brand of Swisher Sweets. Yeah, yeah, sponsored by E Forty. Yeah, dude. Oh, fat and nasty. Fat and nasty. Do do. Ooh ooh. I God <laughs> damn good. <laughs> fat and nasty. Like the ones they give away on the radio. Yeah yeah yeah. This concert is sponsored by Fat and Nasty. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's good to know we had both. We both had black friends. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, let's grab a suggestion. Lawyers. Lawyers. Ayahuasca. Mile High Club. <laughs> Ayo- yeah. Ayahuasca. Mile High Club. Um, lawyers. <laughs> Have your pick, bud. <laughs> it's a spectrum, really. I've never done ayahuasca. Um, uh, I, have you ever done ayahuasca before? No, never done the Mile High Club either. <laughs> yeah. Let's yeah. study law. It seems more likely at this point. Let's just go into law. Yeah. <laughs> We're the type of lawyers where clients are like, I'm going to self-represent. Yeah. Yeah. We, We're we like, come, are you we, sure? We come in as a team. We're like, are you sure you don't want? <laughs> you don't want Watkins and Lynch, brothers and brothers and associates? Come on. <laughs> Law comes in all sizes. <laughs> this case is sponsored by Fat and Nasty. Fat and Nasty. Fat and Nasty. Fat and nasty. Oh, that, that, that's the, the lawyer firm that we've become is Fat and Nasty. <laughs> Yo, what's up? I'm fat. I'm nasty. Yo, we together. We Fat and Nasty. <laughs> <laughs> My own client did it. Suck a dick, judge. Suck a He's dick, guilty. judge. <laughs> I'll stand my dick. <laughs> Fat and nasty. Fat and nasty. <laughs> Poor no st- further questions, <laughs> Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> There is never. Like, case nobody closed. has any questions. Yeah. <laughs> the stenographer hasn't even arrived yet. Yeah. Fat and nasty. Fat and nasty. Hey, Judge, we have a... <laughs> hey, Judge, you can approach. We're just talking about the Judge. Yeah. Get approach your us. fucking fat and nasty ass around that bench. Come here. And approach fat and nasty. Why don't you see that fat old ass on fat and nasty right here? I love how much taller you are than me. I'm just standing on the table. Fat and nasty. Fat and nasty. <laughs> Yo, oh, please, just he's going to jump our... up in my hand in a second. <laughs> 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 we did ayahuasca in the hallway. You don't know. <laughs> uh, let's grab one more suggestion. What was this? Regretful hookups. Regretful hookups. Regretful hookups. Have you ever had a coyote ugly situation? <sighs> yeah, but I was the chick. Um, <laughs> you know, you spend all night dancing on the bar. <laughs> for some fella to just never call you back. Um, you ever, weird, 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 weird resonant laugh from, from the side over there. Just three chicks who are like, oh, we know, girl. Um, I don't know. I, I, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, regretful hookups. I mean, it's, uh, I feel like, I feel like, you know, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not a very sexual person. And this is how, this is how incidentally, every hookup I've ever had started. Uh, it's just I'm in the bedroom. And I'm like, listen, I got to let you know I'm not very sexual. So whatever we're about to do, I hope it goes well. Um, <laughs> pure, <laughs> like, honesty. Like, pure honesty. Pure honesty right now. Like, I'm the one who, like, she, like, like I'm timid in the bedroom. Not, not I, I'm, just a, I'm just a timid guy. I just, I say things, like, things are happening and I start narrating. You know what I mean? She's like... <laughs> She's like, takes her clothes off. I'm like, whoa, those are down now. You know, it's, it's, not, it's not a good look. And then I'm just like, and, and like in the middle of it, I'll be like, just so you know, I consent to this. And she's like, what? I'm like, yeah, it's, sorry. It wasn't even up to me. I, guess, I don't know. I just you're, equal. You're already inside me. And now you're telling me that you consent? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just so bad. I'm just like, I don't know. Like, I know the, I know the vernacular, but I don't know where to use it, you know? Uh, like, yeah. we're, in the, we're in the Uber onto my place. I'm like, fuck yeah, baby. She's like, that's soon. 
<laughs> she's walking out and you're like, yeah, right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. <laughs> Guys, here we go for Drew Lynch. <laughs> Oh, shit. Thank you. All right. You guys have some energy left for our final comedian of the night. What do you say, huh? Your next comedian coming to stage is coming in all the way from New York City. You may know him from his podcast, The Boys Cast. I've done multiple sketches with this guy. I love him. You love him. Please welcome Ryan Long to the stage, guys. Come on. Everyone's talking about all over LA how good the suggestions are. <laughs> That's what they said. Did you hear what these guys are yelling out? There's agents waiting outside. I don't know if you guys know that, but they're on yours. Do we have any out of the gate? <laughs> you guys kind of clammed up there, huh? After I told you the agents, you said, for me? Oh my God, I've been making good suggestions all night, but now that the agents are watching... Did I hear Israel Palestine from the back? Um, you know what, I'll tell you what, we'll just find out. What do you think about Israel Palestine? Let's sort of switch the tables here. What are you going, Jews? Are you going, Muslims? Just a bit of a switcheroo. The questionnaire becomes the questionee. This show has gone haywire. That's, that's sort of unfortunate that you guys ran out of suggestions right before I got on stage, huh? What a bummer, huh? Okay, we got one over here. Star Wars. Political skits. Political skits. Israel Palestine again, I hear. Okay, that's back to back. Um, I heard the N word in the back. Come on, guys. You need to get your act together. Age of consent. You guys are out of control right now with your suggestions. Political skit. Followers? Comb overs. Okay, now we're talking. She did not like that, huh? It is kind of messed up that dudes can just wear toupees, you know? Well, dudes can't wear toupees, but girls can wear eyelash toupees, and that seems to be fine. <laughs> A little bit. Okay, we got, what was the suggestion? Comb overs. What else do we have in the building? <laughs> I think I heard murder. That's dark. Someone's just coming here to air some grievances. Murder. <laughs> American? No, Merkin. No. You guys familiar with what language she's speaking right now? Did I hear a Birkin? No, a a Birkin is like the girls buy, the, the thing that girls in LA ask their boyfriend who's 30 years older to buy for them if they want to stay with her for another three weeks. It's a Birkin bag. Drake has a lot of those for his girls. She's trying to convince me that she didn't say it, but I heard what I heard. Okay. Well, I, so is this a girl thing? Should I know what a merkin is? Cubic wig. Oh. Uh... <laughs> By the way, I'm pretty sure this is not a thing. So I think you guys just fucked the same dude <laughs> that definitely told you, no, this is pretty normal, actually. Did he take it off when he fucked? Like Velcro style, puts it on the wall. A merk. Okay. Uh, does anyone else know what she's talking about? Why, do only, is, is there a secret society of women and you guys have pubic hair fakes? I knew, no, I knew the Kardashians were out of control, but this is next level. They're selling Kardashian fake pubes? It was a historical thing. When's back in the day? Do you mean like the 80s or do you mean like the 1480s? I could be wrong, like 1600s, 1800s? I'm not totally sure. In the, okay, in the 1600s, and the girl would put, is this because they didn't have enough or it just wasn't nice? It could go I want to say it was to cover up, like, problems. Like, yo, that's insane. So if you have an STD, <laughs> this girl didn't look like she had herpes, but when I removed her first set of pubic hair, it appeared we might have had a problem. That's why you need a third set of pubic hair. Two ninety nine, Kardashian dot com. Do you have bumps on your dick? <laughs> no, I just have a fucking massive set of pubes. <laughs> why do you have so much pubes? What? Why are these big? I don't know. <laughs> Holy shit! <you're> a... <laughs> 
Holy shit. So, okay, so back in the day, if a girl had herpes or syphilis, <laughs> but why, what does syphilis do? Is it just like pouring out? Because I feel like it would make it work. Because syphilis is like discharge, right? So like an extra... <laughs> I know this is getting gross, but I feel like an extra set of pubes would make the matters worse. <laughs> or you use it like a sponge, sort of. And, and, you, and you're sort of... <laughs> You need to go to Reddit, okay. <laughs> second pubes. Do you know <laughs> Do you know they have second skin? That's that's what it is. Second pubes. <laughs> Are you lacking in the pube department? <laughs> that's a cheesy infomercial. <laughs> that's a crappy though, if a dude accidentally wears the pubes his toupees. <laughs> You're like, hair's looking a little scraggly there. <laughs> You're like, what? <laughs> okay, well, interesting suggestion. We'll probably move on to the next one. <laughs> So, so far we have murder, the N-word, uh, <laughs> fake pubes. <laughs> Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> okay, we got fake pubes. Thomas the Tank Engine, I'm not that. that I'll tell you what, Ringo Starr was on there though, right? Yeah. That's just a fact for you guys. <laughs> I'm not really a Thomas the Tank Engine being in my 30s. I'm not really watching kids shows. Do you have kids? Even creepier, right? <laughs> Spending a lot of t to do a time doing Thomas the Trank trivia. <laughs> do your friends come over and you're like, why do you have all these tanks and kids toys? Do you have a nephew? Not even. I just love this shit. But one day, for sure. I'm, well, I'm sterile, but still, one day I plan to have a kid. <laughs> Thomas the Tank Engine. These are, I feel like you guys have, I, I kind of gave you cold feet because I picked you up with all the suggestions. I told you about all the agents outside. Now you know what to do. Ooh, fake pubes. <laughs> Murder. Uh. This guy, he's like, think back, think back, think back when you were a kid, think back. Imagination, imagination, imagination. Thomas the Tank. That's something. Well, bring Jeremiah up here. Thank you. Your suggestions were awesome. Keep it going for Ryan Long. Yeah, buddy. There he is. Oh, my God. <laughs> so the Merkin thing, I know a little bit about. <laughs> uh, they... Show them. Show them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing one right now. <laughs> Jer Jeremiah's got pubes braided right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this dreadlock is four years old. <laughs> He's got Nardwar's hair on his dick. <laughs> so they sometimes will use Merkins on shows like Game of Thrones for nude scenes. Oh. So basically it's just pubes. So basically the woman is, uh, they're wearing almost like panties, but it's like just pubic hair. Or a guy with a really small one. <laughs> you got it, dude. You got it. Guys like us. Guys like us. <laughs> Gina Longer Merkin, like, nah, just uh, some stubble shit to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is five o'clock shadow pubic hair at best. That should cover it, dude. Uh, what do we got? Dog parks. <laughs> Heck yeah. Uh, dog parks uh, in as a New Yorker, um, do you ever... Dog parks are where dudes go to pick up girls, right? Yeah. It's like most guys have like a rent-a-dog situation. <laughs> Like kind of like the old school sitcom thing where you borrow a baby to try to hook up. Yeah, you notice that like even comics, a lot of them go on tour and they're like, does anyone watch my dog? And a lot of guys are like, I could use a dog for a week. <laughs> right. Yeah, it is fun to, to, to have a dog Take him for a spin, yeah. Yeah, same idea with like being an uncle. Like you visit your nephew or nieces like temporarily and then you're like, I don't the have fuck to out own here, them. Dude, yeah. So dogs are a fun thing to have temporarily. But the dog park mostly is just dogs killing each other as well. That's another fun thing about the dog park. If you guys have been, like, they're, they're going at it. Literally, it's like one dog just, like, murdering another dog. And then the owner is just like, and what kind of breed's your dog? You're like, do you mind? <laughs> he I'm watching, he I'm watching never Corinne's does dog right now. Oh, really? Dude, yeah. They're out of control. These dogs. These dogs have got a little bit of a problem. Listen, I don't want to make it a racial thing, but there's certain <laughs> there's certain bre breeds of dog, Pitbull, that are trouble. Right, right, right. So funny. <laughs> Do you think that's true or not true? No, my dog's the biggest baby ever. Well, your dog's the one getting the shit kicked out of him then. 
I guess, right? No, okay. You're saying your dog park's more of a loving dog park. Everyone gets along? No, just my dog. <laughs> okay. Let's go, right? another suggestion. Uh, what do we got over here on this side of the room? Sponge I hop, SpongeBob. Life alert. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> um, do you? Sometimes I wish I had a life alert, uh, but just uh, like it, it, if you were just like sad and needed a friend, rather. <laughs> you know what I mean? You just hit it, and then somebody shows up. They're like, did you call? And you're like, Yeah. Can we just can we just hang out right now? It's a not much life alert. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like my life isn't going great. Alert. <laughs> He's like, hey, can we just like go grab lunch or something? <laughs> I didn't feel like sending out a mass group to different text messages to different friends who are busy with their lives right now. Yeah, we got Jeremiah again, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. He keeps calling. He keeps wanting to go to the bank and stuff. Yeah, just life have... alerts calling you like, buddy, we got to up this description. This is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we yeah. said one a month, pal. This right. is out of control. You've used it 17 times. <laughs> <laughs> I've fallen for a girl and I can't get up again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's grab uh, one last suggestion. Gentrifying the ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> if only I had enough time, sir. <laughs> I'll ta- let me talk to Mrs. My dog's a princess. <laughs> uh, I do like that uh, Elvis song in the ghetto. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, gentrification. Are we for it against it, guys? What are we thinking? Would you ever move in a black neighborhood? <laughs> sure. Okay. Or Gentrifier. It can be, it can, oh, it, I bet you'd love that, wouldn't you? You bring your cupcake shops and your unicycles, and then before they know it, they got a Starbucks on every basketball court. <laughs> Every kid has a handlebar mustache by the time this guy leaves. Yeah, no. <laughs> there isn't a really good answer to There's that question. There's not a good. Yeah, yeah, it's not a perfect. Yeah, yeah. Not a perfect answer. So, but do you live? What do you? Where do you live right now? Uh, downtown. Is that a white neighborhood or a black neighborhood? It's... It was a bit of a black neighborhood before. Uh-huh. You know, <laughs> <laughs> this guy over here. <laughs> Moved in with his top hat. <laughs> what does your shirt say? Greetings from Supreme. That's one of the signs. <laughs> a, a Supreme pop-up shop. Supreme, exactly. <laughs> oh, you see those Supreme pop-up shops? <laughs> there goes the neighborhood. You know, that they, <laughs> that is, you can tell that Supreme pop-up shops and melanin are a real direct <laughs> inverse correlation right there. <laughs> uh... Guys, keep it going for Ryan Long. Okay. <laughs> Did we have a good time tonight, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> keep it going for all the comics you saw. Ryan Long. <laughs> Drew Lynch. Steven Kramer Glickman. Adam Ray. I'm Jeremiah Watkins. Come and see this show every second Tuesday of the month here at the Comedy Store. Subscribe to us on YouTube. It's an amazing series that we do every uh, other Monday online. Uh, Check it out. I love you guys. Thanks so much for coming out and supporting us. Come back and see us. Have a great night. Be safe. Want to know a crazy stat? In the last 30 days, 81% of the people who viewed this channel are not subscribed. Let's change that today. What do you say? Help us get to 100,000. Thanks so much for the support and leave a like and a comment before you go. And remember, every other Monday are new episodes of Stand Up on the Spot.